my mom bought a bunny rabbit, so I thought it was a pet for me. So I got really attached and to it. And then she cooked it. Right? And then she's like, "Go out and play." I'm like, "No, because oh, you're gonna cook the bunny." And what? she's like, "No, I'm not." Why there's grooves in the skin. And then she did. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to our LTGW Adventures, Mike. It's Dan. It's Felicia. And we are excited because we are hungry. And whenever we are hungry, we look for the best places to eat and we share them with you. So yeah. today, we're again in Flushing. Yes. Because we're, we're, I think it's our goal to basically eat every good place. Every to, restaurant yeah, in Flushing. Yeah. In Flushing. Yeah. We are at Jungoro Korean Barbecue in Flushing. They actually have two locations, one in Manhattan, one in Flushing. And uh, well, we love Korean barbecue. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time we go, we try to find something unique about, because there's so many places in New York, right? right? And so every place we went, we found something unique. And for here, we definitely found uh, something very unique, which is the incredible quality of meat that they use. And when you're talking about Korean barbecue, it's all about the meat. Mm -hmm. He just said my keyword, my happy word, meat. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I didn't really know this, because when we first started doing these adventure series, you yeah. know, we did one on Korean barbecue, and I was like, okay, that's, that's about it. That's right. all the Korean barbecue we need to talk about. We but both thought that. Yeah, but I didn't realize there's so much into, you know, the world of Korean barbecue that we can exactly. explore. Exactly. And uh, one of my favorite things in the world is steak. Yes. Yeah. So this place, was what they're really known for, I'm really excited, is their different cuts of meat. That's right. Um, especially they have different cuts of steak, different cuts of pork, well, pork belly that you like. Mm. So um, we're here to sample all the different kinds of cuts they have. And what's makes, what makes this place really cool is that uh, they actually have everything cut in-house. Yeah, that's right. And actually, right now, you guys can see it all on the table. We've never done this before. Usually, we kinda, you kind of follow us as it comes out, but you can literally see all the cuts, all the beautiful cuts. Yeah, you like you feel like you're in a butcher shop, you know, there's just so much selection and it's so fresh. Excited to get into I, it. I feel like I'm surrounded by my best friends, not you guys, but meat. Whatever. There's, <laughs> there's also one unique thing here that they yeah. do, which is the uh, pork skin. Pork yeah, skin. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, Haven't if you guys it. know, uh, Mike loves crispy pork skin. I love it. I love it. This place, you get the barbecue and the uh, burner for the soup. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you can actually get two of the finest things in this world right there. Hot yeah. pot and barbecue. All right, good. so we're excited yeah. to get started. Do you guys want to tell them, like, take a yeah, quick Yeah, go ahead, guide? take okay, a ready? food culinary ready? tour. All right, so uh, my favorite area right here, the beef. So you have the beef brisket, the flank, the ribeye, and the kalbi, which is the short rib, unmarinated. Uh, then you got the pork belly, the Boston butt, which is the neck right here. Or, or Dan. Yeah, that's I'm a boss. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, oh, and then pork jowl, which you guys really like because it's kind of chewy. Yep. Uh, and then you have the marinated kalbi right here. The uh, pig skin. Oh, oh, and then the pork short rib. Like we said, you're actually a lot of these cuts you don't find in other places, so I'm really yeah. excited to, uh, I, to try I all never the different actually, cuts. Such a wide selection yeah. of meats. Yeah. Because usually we, when I go to a Korean barbecue, I get the kalbi, yeah. and uh, that's basically that's basically it. it. That's right. all I know. Right. And, and briskets. Yeah. Right. But I didn't know there's so many different cuts of meat that could be presented like this, mm. and um, you know I think it's a good uh, you know joint venture almost by the by the American steak world and the Korean, Korean barbecue yeah. world. <laughs> Uh, because these are also Omaha beef, right? Yes. And that's one place I love to order my steaks from too. They are, they, they have two kinds. They're, they're Omaha beef, but they also have a, a prime version and a regular version. Yeah. But no matter what, they all come from Omaha, which is known, like you could order a box yeah, of Omaha yeah, yeah, beef, yeah. right? So so these cows, no antibiotics, no hormones, and they're not fed with a processed uh, all diet. All natural. All natural diet. Just like me. That's right. <laughs> All right, can we get can we get some? I'm so hungry right now. I can't wait to try this. Ah. Oh my, there it is. Ah. Is it ready? Oh, look at that. Mm. The sound of sizzling steak makes me so happy. <laughs> this is music to my ears. They just checked the temperature. It's at 222 Celsius. Um, look at that. Oh my goodness. So, oh, and the brisket is going on there. The brisket looks beautiful. Oh, oh God, brisket! Is ready. brisket. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh my God! Look at the juice! And my favorite sauce to dip it is that sesame yep, oil with the salt. Yeah, yep. This is insane. Mm. Oh, that's the flank. Um, so where's your steak? Because <laughs> that's obviously mine. Yeah. I mean, let me just. Can I? Get away! You know what? Enough talking, more eating. 
Yeah. That thing just melts into my mouth. Mm. When you eat a lot of barbecue, you definitely want to make sure you get um, some stews. Yep. And we recommend the tofu stew with pork. I seriously feel like this is the best barbecue meat I've had. It really is. I mean, it's like, just like... no joke. It, it's honestly, it's like going to the best steakhouse in New York City, mm. but just having it in front of you, having it not be cold, and having it in small bite-sized pieces. What is going on here? What is going on? Mm. I see chemistry. Whoa, but it's not disappearing. Are we? The, wait, 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 wait. Is wait, this wait, magic? Wait this is magic. This is like, this is actual magic. Okay, so what? so here's the thing. You cannot look at Mike. When yeah, don't look at me. I don't want to look at him. Okay, okay and you got to do what I do. One hand over here. Oh. You got to kind of turn away from I don't want to look at you. Drink it. Go away. And then we drink it. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God, mm. that's awesome. Pork belly. Oh, the look best at that. belly ever. Ah, it's so, my baby. A little, a little bit about the pork belly. Again, same as the beef. They they choose the highest grade pork. Uh, the che it comes from the Cheshire pork. It's like a type of breed. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Perfect char. Hmm. Must what. dig in. Mmm. 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 Mm, nom nom. Right. Nom nom nom. Oh god. When it comes to pork. Oh, mm. that's right. Got to do it. I got to make it. the sandwich. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's got a different texture. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, like, like we said, mm. very different. It's like soft and spongy. Dude, the soup is just awesome. Because I feel like it's one of those things that you can overlook on the menu. It's it's really simple. It's because usually you soup. wouldn't right. think of, oh, I'm gonna buy a soup. Right. Yeah. yeah. And even when they were making it, I'm like, yeah, this this egg drop soup. Thing. Yeah. But the the it's oh. like it's so finessed and refined and. Clear. Thank you. It's a little spicy. Yeah. Those, those are my favorite terms. Yeah. Finesse and refined. And mine are spicy. Why? Because you want them to describe yourself? I am, I don't think I'm, I'm definitely refined and a uh, little bit finesse. Yeah. All right. You know what? I own up to it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, uh, what, how do you describe Mike? Like, like, <laughs> there's one point link, like the kalbi, which is my Korean barbecue favorite cut. Yeah. Okay, you guys don't know what that it's is. Popular. How, how do you not know what that is? If you guys watch us, you go to Korean barbecue a lot. Kalbi is the short rib area of the cow. And to me, it's just got the perfect blend of texture, flavor, fat. You can see a lot of marbling. That sounds like meat. Oh, wow. Like wow. what you see Dude. in Wagyu steak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and my favorite, the marinated Kalbi. And here, they actually go above the normal pear, soy sauce, sugar mm. uh, pairing. They have, um, they add kiwi and pineapple. So, pork short rib. This is marinated pork short rib. Mm -hmm. um, this, is gonna, this is gonna be very flavorful, also very tender. Texture wise? Yeah, very very, uh, very tender, way tender than any other pork. Really? Because it's marinated, so it breaks down the fibers. Mm. And, and just because where it is, it's a little more tender anyways. Mm. Yeah, very, oh. very nice flavor. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> this is a piece of skin from a pig. Yeah. And so of course it bubbles, it's gonna curl. So the technique is they, they lay one side down, they yeah. keep it down with like mm. the tongs and the scissors as paper weights essentially. Mm. And then when they flip it over, then they'll cut it into small pieces. I never mm. had never barbecued had uh, you know pork skin before. Yeah. Okay. Try flea. Shall we dip it in anything? No. no. Nope. It's seasoned. Smell it. Oh yeah, mm. it's like it's like the out outermost part of the pork belly. Guys, we gotta talk about this soup. Gotta talk about the soup. Well, I learned about the history of the soup. Yeah, what? it's back when. Um, so the name know, of it is army stew. Army stew. Yeah. Back when uh, there was a period of time in Korean South Korea, War. yeah, where the there, was, there was not a lot of food. Right. And so people would take whatever they had available and mix it into a stew. Right. So this is what this is. It's like right. a Korean version of a carbonara. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, right. now they do it a little bit different, right? Because in most Korean restaurants, they always, for this type of stew, they always use ramen. the ramen and also kimchi. Mm -hmm. But let, let, let us tell you about this one. This one's very unique. So you got the meats in there, right? Yeah. So you have the kielbasa, spam, which we love, mm. uh, bacon, basically, mm. uh, minced pork and beef. You have, and then you have your vegetables to balance it out, right? Because it's very like young, like right here, very like warming. So you have the tofu, you have a uh, uh, kimchi right here, cabbage, 
You have the spring onions, the glass noodles, and the enoki mushrooms, and the rice cake to balance it out. Now here's the, here's the major difference, the broth. It's not a kimchi broth, so you, guys, you guys know this. It is like basically a Japanese broth, like dashi, which is made from like kompu, like seaweed, sardines. So it has, mm. it's like super umami right there, already to begin with. Then when all the juices of the meat gets in there, it'll be like a bomb of flavor. And then once all the stuff melts, like I've never seen anything like this. All right, so this has been an amazing day of food adventuring. Unbelievable. This is what I love, you know? I love food adventures where we get just like course after course of awesomeness. Right. Yeah, I love surprises too. We got a little bit of everything, of course. Start out with the great quality Korean barbecue, like how it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. All the different cuts, the beef, the pork, the pork skin. Then, then we had all like three different kinds of, uh, actually four stews. This is the major stew. And the other, uh, three stews actually. And then we had some cold noodles, some sides. I mean, it's the perfect meal, perfect meal. Yeah, I'm yeah. so satisfied. So and good. this has been an amazing time here. Um, oh man. Don't, for, don't forget guys, all the information about where we are today is below. And definitely uh, if you live in Flushing or Manhattan Midtown, come to, come here. And also the names of the dishes we'll put below yeah. as well. Get what we got. We feel like these are some of the best dishes um, and try them. I think you will not be, be disappointed. disappointed. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye. See ya. Bye.